Welcome everyone to a new War Thunder video. Today we'll be looking at the Hunter F6. So in order to understand the Hunter F6 that is, you need to look first at the Hunter F1. So obviously if you want to get the Hunters then you need to go down the whole um, Hawker's line from the you know, the Fury, the Hurricanes, Typhoons, Tempests, Vampires, Venom and you can approach here, you get here to the Hunter F1. Now what is the Hunter F1? Well simply put it's kind of like a dart, you know, you go straight, you shoot, you kill, you keep going straight and I mean it has a few characteristics that are special to it so for example low speed acceleration is very poor high speed acceleration is very good and cans are very good good energy retention that's probably because of bad turning and so on and so forth so all in all this is like a decent plane to fly I mean I'm sure you need to get used to it but you know it's, it's a good plane it's a good plane so now we go on to the Hunter F6, which basically is the Hunter F1, but everything better. So it's faster, same cannons, slightly more maneuverable, but energy t retention, and so on and so forth. And overall, it's just a far nicer plane to fly. You know, you can actually feel the power going through it. Because I remember when I got the Hunter F6 first, well, after like I researched using the Hunter F1, there was a huge difference even between a stock Hunter F6 and a speeded Hunter F1. Now. The main main difference though is um, these uh, the SRAMs, which have been a grind. You need to go through all of this, all the bomb and rocket upgrades in order to get the SRAMs. However, once you get the SRAMs, you basically fly the Hunter F6 as you know a missile platform. So you go for the missiles, and then you can go with cannons if you want to. So basically, the missiles reduce the cannons to secondary weapons, and all in all, it's an amazing plane to fly. Similar concept to the Hunter F1 as in you take off you fly straight to the enemy you shoot the enemy you continue flying straight there's sorry there's no maneuvering to be done in this please don't try and maneuver and get into the <coughs> most amazing dog fights dog fights as because you'll probably die even though the energy retention is good so let's hop into the couple of matches I have uh, prepared for you and here we are in the first game so as you can see it's the map Afghanistan and it's actually quite a nice map you don't really often play it apart from in jets but it's a nice large map you know high altitude a good just for jets especially top tier jets in general and so as you can see here I took out my SRAM to cut the air target belt that's really like once you've got the SRAMs that's really the loadout you want to take nothing else it's it's a great loadout and so we just wait for um, for the map to start, and here we go. So, what you notice is in this map, something goes high up, there's often clouds, etc. So, immediately I was geared thinking, okay, it's going to be a visibility issue, especially when landing. You imagine landing in this, you can only see the one where you just as it's in front of you. And also, I noticed that you know, there are three javelins, it's not that many F100s, not that many um, supersonic planes. So, all in all, this should be a pretty comfortable match. And so, you know, take off and keep an eye on the hunter to my left. You know, he's got a problem taking off. I noticed that he's still on the ground. Oh, there he goes, his gears. He's still making those. Does he make it? No, that's a tree. Yeah. That is sad. To be honest, you know, taking off in jets is actually more difficult than the props. The props just gently levitate up into the jets and properly put some port into it. Um, but it didn't happen for him in this game. Which is really frustrating if I understand them. Um, so with this plane, as soon as you get the missiles, guns can't, can't become a secondary weapon. So you notice here, what I'm trying to do is trying to go around the back plane and do the rear aspect only. And after that, as soon as you get a lock, you know, a very very good chance to kill the enemy. And so instead of pushing in, I sometimes like what I like to do is kind of rush in but then turn around after them so you can always get like a head on kill or two as you'll see in the second match but what you really want is to be in a position where the enemy can't really get to you because well, we're behind them and so I generally I would have otherwise went for the left most base uh, the uh, is. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to hide behind this mountain the mountains which is follow the river so basically try and stay away from the enemy, try and stay invisible and then as soon as they engage, go back around to get them. And this tactic in this match works fairly well. Um, I'll get a few kills 
um, but we'll see off that later. So, as I said, following the bed is a bridge, we're going to go to the bridge tactic, you know, the under the bridge thing. There's an F86K, now those are fairly dangerous, although I believe in this tap card, I am actually faster than them, even though they have an alpha burner. However, one of the main things I want to look out for in this Hunter F6 is the F86K. Apart from that, the only actual super or subsonic jet that is faster than you is the Super Mysterio, but that has atrocious energy retention. As you can see, there's like a mountain, there's like a ridge in front of me, so I'm going to plan to turn around the back of that and then see what I can engage. And that's how it goes. See the enemy starting to engage my units to kill a javelin, the poor guy, to kill the poor spot, I mean, what can you expect? It's just, mm -hmm. Especially with a missile, I mean, there's nothing they can do against a missile. But I turn back around and search for some enemies. And, you know, it's empty. Oh, there's an extra for the year. Oh dear, there's quite a few things here. However, I'm not really that worried because something you notice about this thing is that unless it's a MiG-19 or maybe an F-100, you're basically safe. I mean, there's not much you can do. And so, I'll look at the Sabre going for my other two, for my teammate Sabre. And easy lock on, but FJ is such a nice target. Look at that, look at that, look at that. However, I'm just not maneuvering enough to actually get to him. I can't fire from this area, I'll obviously miss. So I'll just go around, I'll try not to get him in my guns. He's so focused, like, super focused. Look at him, he's falling out. So I'll just loop back around. I have a fair amount of speed to do this maneuver. I mean, look how high I am. You know, I know I'll start to apply because it's a high map, but still. I know at this speed, if I get a missile lock on, then he can't do anything at all. So I want a missile. Get that lock on. There we go. I get that lock on, fire the missile, and kaboom, he's dead. And in these positions, the S-Founders do their work. I mean, there's nothing really you can do with an enemy. I mean, this missile can easily, easily track you. However, as you can see with this example, they don't always do the work. I mean, it's a bit iffy sometimes. So I see this F saber, it turns out to be an F2 saber. Initially I'm kind of surprised because you know I should be catching up to him at a far faster rate you know, like this. But just double check he is indeed um, turned away from me. Something you can do, you can turn on your missile speed just to check whether the enemy is going away or towards you because obviously the actions you can take if they're going towards you are very different to if they're going away from you. So I have a missile lock, I'm within range, I shoot up the missile. And for some reason he doesn't do anything. That was kind of annoying. I fire off the missile, let's see it goes, he turns, the missile does a track, you, you would get those tracking issues, I think, you know what, I'll just use my hands instead, or anyways, the missiles can do it. Here the cannons still do some work, look at that, big, big explosion, with this ability. Poor guy. Okay, and now we see a few enemy planes, you know, dallying around with our and uh, our friendly planes so I think you know what one of them could do with our strand or some Edens so turn look at them at F86 you know very dangerous opponent try to lock him on do some work such a now try to lock him on and doesn't lock but like okay he's coming towards me that's quite, not quite good is it but still you know I try to go for that head on or that turning engagement and he turns just too far this is something you notice with the hunter Using the cannons, you know, it's kind of difficult because you're not as maneuverable as some other things like the Sabre especially. That I think 6K. Just try and make myself a hard shot then and a few misses. And I nearly knock out. I've got a very low crew level on this for some reason. Well not for some reason, I haven't really leveled up that crew. And I see that very nice F9. What a nice start. Look at that, look at that. Easy type of S fan. Look at him, he's such a turn as well. It's, if he turns, just gives him need for the bam. Third kill. And so here I am, you know, quite comfortable thinking, okay, I've seen cannons and get this at 86k. And bear in mind, I haven't fired, I haven't used the uh, hunter in a fair while, so my shooting's a bit rusty. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I see another f 86 k I think, okay. He's clearly catching up to me, but if I put myself in the dive, you know, the build takes a bit out. Missiles, 
no problem whatsoever. Look at that dodge. Easy, easy dodge. He's still getting looking good. And I'm like, wait, what happened? Oh dear. Pretty surprised by this. And I crash. I, I was dead anyway, too, so there's nothing to do. So, this concludes the first game. And we're going we're going now into our second game, which is Operation Playlu. And immediately I think, okay, this will be kind of tougher because this is a map against the Japanese and the Japanese have the legendary Mitsubishi T2, which in reality, you know, it's a fast plane, has some radar, missiles, etc. But it's it's a playable plane, especially in the Hunter F6. I mean really in general, the only two planes that can actually fight the Hunter F6, uh, sorry, the T2, I think, rather, this Hunter F6 with their stands, and also the MiG-19S. F100 is their worst, but to be honest, I haven't really played F100 or MiG-19 PT, so, you know, I just can't really judge. Lots of things to do to the maps with the air spawn, I just fire blow, and what usually what happens is, when we go down slow, just check on this, I'm not actually works. I mean, I have fired that and a uh, teammate before doing that, but, Whatever. Give the people in the aircraft carrier also a nice flyover. Do that. Neon. Anyway. Enough daytime. So, what I do is I dive low and do the same thing we did before the F1 and just crash it as well. And in this game, I was let down badly by my teammates. Like, the two have one, but this, well, I can't see it yet, but I was let down pretty badly by my teammates. Either way, I bought a Mitsubishi T2, that's it, okay, with a cheeky head on. Uh, buy things and uh, just so I Oh well, I have plenty of ammo in this, so I'll just go for another one. And see there's a uh, saber, Japanese saber. I go for the shot band to get hit, which I got very angry about, because these cannons don't usually hit, which should have been a kill. But either way, you know. I'll get him next time, I suppose. So, you know, I think I've got this prime this transposition. But I'll get um, the prime of the spear because I'm going to play my spot in the minimum. It's a T2, but well, it's below, below me, so it's not really that dangerous. But I'll try to lock on to me anyway. Got a lock on. Fire up the missile. And. Missiles. Missiles have quite short range, but I'll go for a second anyway. I give it, give it the lead and get killed. This is what I mean about the S round B being good against the T2. The T2, as soon as it turns to dodge, loses so much speed. But I got that kill in the end. That T2 just fancy me because you can't kill it. And okay, for sure. So basically at this point I'm just seeing the feed our team is keeping getting killed. I mean, look at that, it's a stalker house. What am I going to do? So, what I do decide to do is just do the typical hunter, do and zoom for the main go away, I suppose. Spot that T2 up there. So, spot this T2, give him a quick head on, I get a crit. I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. I mean, putting the T2 in the head on, it's decent. I mean, even though T2s are characteristically trash at head ons, but whatever. So, I'll we'll turn around. I think, you know what, I'm going to try to go for that T2 again just to ensure he dies, but, you know, basically, I can't really get catch up to him. And there are two other T2s behind me, three other T2s behind me, I'm really in a pretty bad position. And I'm you know, just making sure that the T2 is actually kept up for me. I see that T2, I'm like, okay, here we go, but he dies. That's the T2 I did earlier. And, not quite good. There's a missile, off it goes. Really, apart from the SRAMs, you don't really need to think about too, too much about other missiles. They're quite easy to build. Even SRAMs, you get to them, they're really easy to build as well. There's other T2, and uh, this is again prime, prime uh, SRAM positioning here. Look at that. Easy, easy. Fire up the SRAM, and so it does. Well, really good. I have no clue what that's stranded. And the C2 appears to be more maneuverable than me at this uh, speed, so whatever. 
you know, I have better energy attention than T2, but it still turns into me on like, oh no, oh no, and he hits me, and to be honest, you know, after all those hits, I kept getting four stunts, you know, to get some payback, but I tried to zoom away, and I accelerated away from the T2, which is what would happen, because my energy attention, he must have been so slow there, but I still had a fair bit of speed, so, I went, I know you'll be catching up to me soon anyway, so I thought, okay, this is the end, I have a T2 in my cell, I have another T2 here, let's try to go pick it on, no, nothing happened, okay, one more T2, let's get another one in. oh, Okay. And at this point, like, what can I do? There are two T2s in myself. As soon as I slow down to you know, have one of them overshoot, the other one get me. And I mean, I knew I was, I was done for. My team is trash. It's. Yeah, it is. I mean, Ante can take the fair bit of damage from the T2's cameras, but I knew it was going to end in the end. Shut the them, but. You know, another T2 coming, let me turn and try to make him make me a hard target. Um but ultimately I die I mean, yeah. Look at that, look at how bad my team is. I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Two F one hundreds died immediately. So anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Hope you uh, enjoy this video I mean Hunter F6, great playing with the S Rams. Slightly worse playing without the S Rams, but yeah.